Today we're looking at another Neo Geo classic as part of Hamster's Arcade Archives collection. Zedblade is a horizontal shooter released in 1994 and is currently available on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. I should mention that availability may vary by region. As with all the ACA releases, this one goes for around $10 or so depending on the platform's digital distribution service and the currency. All ACA games contain the ability to tweak an assortment of gameplay options as well as playing the game in either the US or Japanese version of the game. Before we jump into the review, I should point out that when it comes to shoot 'em ups, there are certain ones that I really like and others that I don't find quite as enjoyable. I've always preferred dodging bullets to dodging bullets and suicide enemies. You know what I'm talking about. I'll take a bullet hell shooter over a shooter that has enemies charging me any day of the week. That's just me though. But I mention this as Zed Blade is one of those shooters that certainly had a lot of bullets, yes, but also a ton of kamikaze enemies that annoy the living crap out of me. Zed Blade starts off very strong, allowing you to select between one of three ships with varying speed levels. After that you can select your forward shot from three available options, and then your rear shot and finally your missile type. This is without a doubt a fantastic feature, as you can arm your craft as you see fit and customize it to your playstyle. Each of these weapons can then be powered up as you make your way through the game's eight stages. As you make your way through the game, you're treated to some great electronic dance tunes, which accompany the frantic gameplay rather well. Graphically, the game has some layers of parallax scrolling, which is actually quite nice, because there's quite a few different layers, and many enemy craft come into the action by a simple polygon shape, which was rather unique for its time. There's also wonderful use of color for the most part, however the game's design isn't quite up there with some of the other Neo Geo heavy hitters. The game also takes a hit when there's too much action happening on screen at any given time. The game can actually come to a crawl, although to be fair it isn't anywhere near as bad as some of the other Neo Geo releases. Zed Blade is not an easy shooter for the reasons I mentioned above. Not only do you have to worry about bullets, but there are also environmental hazards and enemy ships all over the place, plus those enemies that love coming in contact with your craft. And the fact is that your ship is rather large, so it makes traversing all of these different things quite challenging. Couple these things together and you'll be playing this for a very long time if you're after that coveted high score. Thankfully this is an MVS release so you can continue forever, but if you increase the difficulty, limit the continues, and try a one credit run, you will see just how punishing this game can get. As a fan of shooters, this one just isn't my style, however there's certainly a lot of charm to it. The fact you can customize your ships, the nice audio visual presentation, and overall tight gameplay are certainly worth checking out. Heck, you may adore this one if it tickles your fancy. For me, I've got a few other shooters in mind, but first, I'm off to review more Neo Geo classics.